It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods. A neighborly day for our beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi, television neighbors. Welcome back to this television neighborhood. See what I brought for you today? A picture of Bugs Bunny. The blue Blu-ray DVD. Uh uh uh, po uh, uh, the Blu-ray, uh, uh, booklet, and the tr transporter scene selection booklet. Now, before we go visit our dear friend, Dr. Alvin Wendell uh, Jasper at our neighborhood, uh, 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 blood drive association center uh build building we 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 have just enough time for some make believe before we go over th 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 there so trolley uh, 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 trolley, uh, Prince. All right. What, what, sh what should we, let's, let's pretend, let's pretend about a st story with some, uh, 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 let's pretend about a story with some, uh, blood to give, to give some of their patience, patience in the fairy tale games. And they could even give a uh, handyman niggery some 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 blood in in this make believe story too and they could maybe stick a make believe needle in the make-believe uh, players so that it won't hurt the make-believe players too. So why don't we make believe some more about those things as we pretend that the trolley costume is still on and it goes by the 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 castle in the neighborhood of make believe 
Are you ready to go, trolley? Okay. Uh, I, I think you've done a my brave job of not being so afraid to stick that needle and s side our our arm handyman Negri. Well, X, I got some excellent training down at the Red Cross Blood Donation Center. I used to be afraid of needles and and giving blood and everything, but you know what? They assured me that it wouldn't hurt at all and that I'd get over my fear. And by golly, they were right. They use such good sharp needles nowadays, you hardly even feel the poke. And what a good feeling it is when you've given blood that may save someone's life. But this is a nifty go lefty day here in the neighborhood of make-believe, isn't it? I think it's pretty nifty go lefty too. Yeah. Oh, hell, hello, dear. It's Queen Sarah again. Oh, Queen Sarah. You just melt my heart every time I see your beautiful face. Oh, oh, it's just melting my heart. Your beauty is beyond description, beyond compare. How do you like my voice? Your voice is like music, music to the ear. And how do you like my husband? Been King Friday. Oh, I'm a little afraid of King Friday, and his voice is very deep and gruff and commanding and overwhelming. But through the years, I've grown accustomed to it. So much like my fear of giving blood, my fear of needles, I've learned to suppress my fear of your husband, King Friday. I am no longer afraid of him. I simply respect him for the king that he is. Uh, handyman Joe Negri, blood driver extraordinaire, I presume? Is I your highness? Yes, I am here at your service. I understand that you are going to accompany X the Owl and Queen Sarah some b b blood for the special uh, fairy tale games. T tomorrow in the afternoon in make-believe handyman J J Joe Negri. As usual, your highness, your knowledge of the events that are happening now and will happen in the future is extraordinary. You hit the nail on the head. I will be driving the blood mobile, and we will collect blood and have it ready to donate. Well, thank you so much for your help too, Trolley Prince. We'll see you in Make Believe tomorrow. Thank you so much, Trolley Prince. Well, I wonder how the make-believe blood draw will affect all those neighbors. And I wonder if XDL and Queen Sarah and King 
Friday are all going to share the types of uh, blood with each uh, make-believe patient. Well, we'll pretend some more about that make-believe place tomorrow. But right now, I would like to sh show you the place where they draw some real uh, uh, blood. So let's, and I know a man who is glad to show us around through his real facility building. His name is Dr. Alvin Wen Wendell uh, Jasper, and he's delighted, and I'm delighted to show you to my, uh, my, uh, uh, best, uh, uh, friend. So, come along with me, and we can meet Dr. Alvin Wendell Jasper. Come along. Dr. J Jasper. <laughs> Victor George Sprinkle, it is so good to see you again. How are you, my friend? I'm good, Dr. Jasper. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. You look well. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, You're welcome. I'd like for you to meet my television neighbor, Dr. Alvin Wendell J Jasper the, the Six. I come from a long line of Alvin Wendell Jaspers. Nice to meet you, television neighbor. So, Dr. Alvin. Yes, you, you can just call me Alvin, Victor. We're such good old friends. You don't have to use the doctor, even though I am a doctor. All right, Alvin. There you go. Um, when did you, um start uh, practicing to become a doctor? Well, probably when my little sister and I were playing hide-and-seek one night when we were growing up, and she knelt down on, unfortunately, what turned out to be a broken milk bottle. Hmm. In those days, when I was growing up, our milk was delivered by a milkman in a little truck, and they were in quart bottles. And the bottles would be emptied by us, and then washed and put in a crate to go back with the milkman the next time he came to be used again, recycling, you know. And unfortunately, one of those bottles somehow got out of the crate, onto the ground, and then it got broken, and my poor little sister knelt down on it and cut her knee wide open. Oh my goodness, she was bleeding like a stuck pig. And I, being the older brother, responsible for her welfare, decided that I had to stop the bleeding and get her some medical attention. So I took off my shirt, I wrapped it around her knee as tight as I could get it, and then I picked her up and carried her back to the house, and mom and dad took her to the hospital where she got 17 stitches in her knee. And that was the beginning of my medical career. I felt so good about saving my poor little sister that I said, you know, 
I think I might like to do that for a living. So I went on and studied and became a doctor. And what was your sister's name? Allison. Allison. Mm -hmm. Allison Jasper. AJ, we called her. Um, now, um, did you ever felt, um, do you ever, do you ever felt su su surprised when you're doing all your uh, medical uh, work? Oh, I get surprised every day, Vic. Uh, you know, uh, you think you know it all. You know, you spent all those years studying to become a doctor. Then you practice, 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 and you think you've run into every situation possible. But almost every day, somebody comes along and surprises the heck out of you with something new. And yeah, I get surprised. Um, do you, do you sometimes, uh, will ch children walk up to you and say you're such a handsome young uh, doctor? Well, to be honest, no. I don't think any young child has ever looked upon this countenance and said, my, my, how handsome. Because, you know, I'm really not very handsome, Victor, but... I sure appreciate that thought. Well, Alvin, y you have been the kindest television neighbor I had on any of my sh sh shows. Oh my goodness. What a compliment, because you've had some very kind people on your program. Almost every one of them. I'm the kindest? Yes. Wow. I may not be the prettiest, but I'm the kindest. I like it. But, um, but, but sadly, I'm, I'm, I must must uh, go. Oh, well, it was a pleasure seeing you again. You come back anytime you'd like. Maybe the next time you come back, I'll poke you in the arm and steal a little blood from you for the hospital. Uh, only if you want me to. I, I would love that. Okay, we'll plan on it. Next Tuesday at 8 o'clock in the morning. Drink plenty of orange juice. Uh, all right. Okay. Me and my television neighbors would love that. My television neighbors and I my television would love that. My television neighbors and I would love that. Okay. We'll look forward to it. Bye. Bye. All right. Let's go back to my place. Isn't a Dr. J Jasper a, a happy man? I'm, I love being in his building. There's a song for you that I'm dying to sing for you before I leave. You are my friend. You are special. You are my friend. You're special to me. You are the only one like you. 
like you, my friend. I like you in the daytime, in the nighttime, anytime that you feels the right time for a friendship with me, you see. F R I N D special. You are my friend. You're special to me. There's only one in this wonderful world. You are special. And that's really true. And the, and the people that, that think you are more than just friends the more that, that you're growing up to become a, a friend yourself. And the more that doctors tell you that, that, that you are a special friend and, and they're feeling respected about it, they can help you find the difference that they love you more than you love yourself in many different ways uh, 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 to it's it's such a good feeling to know you're alive it's such a happy feeling you're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say I think I'll make a snappy new day it's such a good feeling a very good feeling the feeling you know that I'll be back when the when the day is new and I'll have more ideas ideas for you and you'll have things you want to talk about I will to you always make each day and each week a special one for me you know how by just your being you there's only one person in this whole world exactly like you and that's you and I love you exactly as you are. And I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.